zebras. Oh, it's so good to see you again. I miss you so much. Today, I thought it would be good to practice our names again. So I'm gonna put your names up on the screen. And when you see your name this time, I want you to take, pretend you have your laser, and I want you to go and circle your name with your laser pointer. Think you can do it? Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna put some names up on the board. Here we go. Get your laser pointer out. Do you see your name? Bzzz. Circle your name when you see it. Good job. Did you see your name? Will, did you see your name? Did you circle it? Good job, Will. Wesley, did you see your name? Good job, Wesley. Nellie, did you see your name? Did you circle it? Bzzz. Good job, Nellie. All right, here we go. There's some more names up there. When you see it, circle it with your laser pointer. You gotta make sure you make that noise so we know your laser pointer is working. Bzzz, did you get it? Vance, did you see your name? Good job, Vance. Maya, did you see your name? Good job, Maya. Graham, did you see your name? Good job, Graham. Okay, here's some more names. Circle them with your laser pointer. Bzzz. Ford, did you find your name? Good job, Ford. Cutler, did you find your name? Good job, Cutler. Lennon, did you find your name, Lennon? Good job. Okay, get those laser pointers ready. Did you see it? Austin, did you see your name? Good job, Austin. Conrad, did you see your name? Good job, Conrad. Piper C, did you see your name? Good job, Piper C. Okay, last one, here we go. Make sure you circle it with your lasers. Do you see your name? Piper B, did you see your name? Good job, Piper B. Reese, did you see your name? Good job, Reese, yay! Oh, it's so nice to practice finding our names. When we're at school, we practice our, looking for our names on our baskets, on our little zebra name tags, on our name plates on the table before snack and before lunch. We also practice it when you go to the carpet. We have our names written on our carpet spots. So this is good to practice looking for our names. Okay, I wanted to read you a book today. This is a book um, before um, last month, we did a whole week on Laura Numeroff and all the lovely books that she has written. And we read all, if you give a mouse a cookie, if you give a moose a muffin, if you give a dog a donut, all those fun books. So I thought I'd read one of those again. This one is called, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. Do you like to drink milk with your cookies? Me too. What's your favorite kind of cookie? Hmm. What's your favorite kind of cookie? My little girl likes chocolate chip cookies and my little boy likes Oreo cookies and my baby, well, she just likes to eat whatever cookies are laying around. <laughs> When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. Look at that tiny hair at the top. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even up, end up washing the floors as well. And when he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. 
So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. And he'll draw a picture. He'll want to sign his name. With a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need some scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So he'll ask for a glass of milk and chances are if he asks for a glass of milk, what's he gonna want to go with it? What do you think, a bag of chips? No. Um, how about string cheese? No. You think some carrots? No, what does he want to go with that glass of milk? You're right, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. The end. I thought it would be nice to put up some pictures of us at school for you to look at. So I'm going to show you some pictures and I hope you enjoy them. Hope you enjoyed looking at those pictures. I miss you very much and I hope we get to see each other soon. Goodbye zebras!